السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن اهتدى بهداه وبعد All praise is indeed due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Blessings and salutations upon Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to bless us all And to give us all every reason to smile inshallah Beautiful verses of the Quran we have listened to tonight We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant every single one of us acceptance As we commence this evening's tafsir or this evening's lesson I'd like to make mention of some bad news that came to me this evening as we were about to break the fast. One of the grandmothers of the community that I come from has passed away. And the news that came to me brought sadness to me. And I'm sure it will bring sadness to every single one of us. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant her Jannah inshallah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all those who passed away today Jannah. And all those who passed away in this month of Ramadan Jannah. And all those who have passed away from our families as well as from the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whenever they've passed away, we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant all of them Jannah inshallah. The topic is very closely linked. The last day and the day of resurrection, those are the most serious days. It is reported in the hadith that the last day, the day when everything shall come to an end will be a day when not a single person will be believing in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dictates that even if there is one individual saying Allah, Allah, Allah will not destroy the world. Allahu Akbar. So when there is not a single person mentioning the name of Allah, that is when Allah's anger will overtake the entire creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really grant us protection from that particular day. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that He is definitely going to gather us for the last day, the day of Qiyamah. Allah says in Surah An-Nisa, Allah la ilaha illa huwa la yajma'annakum ila yawmil qiyamati la rayba feeh. Indeed, it is He, Allah, none worthy of worship besides Him. He is going to gather all of you on that day. There is no doubt in that. Subhanallah. We don't doubt it. In Surah Saba, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَقَالَ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا لَا تَأْتِينَ السَّاعَةِ قُلْ بَلَا وَرَبِّي لَتَأْتِيَنَّكُمْ عَالِمِ الْغَيْبِ The kuffar, the disbelievers, they said, we will not be resurrected. There is not going to be an end. We, the life is going to continue. Allah says, Nay, tell them by my Rabb, by the one who created me, by the one who takes me away, by the one who sustains me. We are definitely going to be gathered for that particular day. May Allah make that day easy for all of us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us how close it is. Listen to the opening verses of Surah Al-Anbiya. اِقْتَرَبَ لِلنَّاسِ حِسَابُهُمْ وَهُمْ فِي غَفْلَةٍ مُعْرِضُونَ Indeed, the hour of reckoning has come very close to man, and yet man is turning away in oblivion, forgetfulness. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us mindful of the fact that there are two types of qiyamah. The first qiyamah is the day we die. That is the minor qiyamah. Then the major qiyamah is the day we will be resurrected, the last day, the day of judgment thereafter. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all, inshallah, security on that day and may He have mercy on us on that day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, there are many people who are asking you questions about when the hour is going to be. Tell them that the knowledge of the hour is with your Rabb, with Allah alone. He has not enlightened anyone regarding that particular hour. Listen to what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Ahzab. يَسْأَلُكَ النَّاسُ عَنِ السَّاعَةِ قُلْ إِنَّمَا عِلْمُهَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ وَمَا يُدْرِيكَ لَعَلَّ السَّاعَةَ تَكُونُ قَرِيبًا They are asking you about the hour. Tell them that the knowledge of that hour is with Allah, the Creator Himself. And how do you know? It might be very, very close, Allah says. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us understanding. The fact that we have had a final messenger is a very strong sign of the hour. Because after the final messenger, there are no more messengers. 
When the messenger said that there is going to be a messenger coming after me, the people could relax a little bit to say at least the world is not going to come to an end. But when you are told that I am the last of all messengers, you should know that that means the next stage is the end of everything. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, even in Surah Al-A'raf, يَسْأَلُونَكَ عَنِ السَّاعَةِ أَيَّانَ مُرْسَاهَا قُلْ إِنَّمَا عِلْمُهَا عِنْدَ رَبِّي They are asking you about the hour. When is it going to be sent? Tell them the knowledge of it is with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And it will only come suddenly. It will only take people by surprise. Unexpectedly. Allah says we will not inform you in advance. Yes, there are signs which will lead to that particular hour for those who know the signs. To be honest, there are minor signs and major signs. All the minor signs have already taken place. Allah says, and subhanallah, the Mubarak lips of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam have uttered the signs of qiyamah, the signs of the last hour. And believe me, if we were to go into that topic, we would see that most of the minor signs have already occurred. We are now waiting for the major signs. Not that we are happily waiting, but really we are worried. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us the ability to prepare for that day. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah Al-An'am, قَدْ خَسِرَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِلِقَاءِ اللَّهِ Indeed, those who have not believed in the meeting with Allah are at loss. حَتَّى إِذَا جَاءَتْهُمُ السَّاعَةُ بَغْتَةً قَالُوا يَا حَسْرَتَنَا عَلَى مَا فَرَّطُنَا فِيهَا Then when the hour comes to them suddenly, they will then say, Oh, you know we are at loss regarding what we did in the past. We didn't do any good deeds. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not make us from those. And Allah says, لَا تَأْتِيكُمْ إِلَّا بَغْتَةً Clear verse in Surah Al-A'raf. The hour will come to you suddenly. It will take you by surprise. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nahl, powerful description. وَمَا أَمْرُ السَّاعَةِ إِلَّا كَلَمْحِ الْبَصَرِ أَوْ وَأَقْرَبُ The command for us regarding the hour is like the blink of an eye. Allahu Akbar. Allah says like a blink of an eye or even closer than a blink of an eye. Before you can blink your eye, everything can be finished by the will of Allah. He says that command of ours is a click. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. Allah is showing His power. Then Allah says, look, those who are calling out besides Allah, partners, associating partners with Allah. Allah says when the punishment comes to you or when the hour comes to you, when the hour of tremor comes to you, who will you call out to? Will you call out to your partners or will you call out to the Creator Allah? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us from those who don't associate partners with Him. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-An'am, قُلْ أَرَأَيْتَكُمْ إِنْ أَتَاكُمْ عَذَابُ اللَّهِ أَوْ أَتَتْكُمُ السَّاعَةُ أَغَيْرَ اللَّهِ تَدْعُونَ إِن كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ بَلْ إِيَّاهُ تَدْعُونَ Allah says, ask them a question, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that do you see if the punishment comes to you or if the hour has to overtake you? Are you going to call out to anyone besides Allah to alleviate the pain or the calamity? Allah says, nay, you will only call out to Allah on that day. In fact, verses we read tonight regarding sincerity, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about even those who don't believe in a God. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, when they are at sea on the ship, they still call out to a God, Allahu Akbar, because they know that here in the middle, when the boat starts rocking and we are in the middle, even if we can swim, we cannot swim 200 kilometers to shore. We can probably swim maximum two or three kilometers really. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So Allah says, فَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دَعَوُ اللَّهَ مُخْلِصِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ When they ride the boat, when they are in the middle of the sea, then they call out to one Allah. They say, O Creator, O You who is the owner, O You who can protect us here, ensure that we get to the coast, ensure that we get to the coast. Allah says, they call us sincerely. They never associate partners because they know their idols will drown with them. May Allah protect us. And Allah says, as soon as they get to the coast, they begin worshipping their idols once again. They forget what happened. 
I think sometimes it would be more appropriate for us to give the example of an aircraft. As we are about to take off, the levels of sincerity automatically increase. Subhanallah. When there is turbulence in the sky and the aircraft is bouncing one after the other through the clouds or through the wind, Allahu Akbar, you find people saying, La ilaha illallah. The sincerity with which they utter those words is unmatched. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us sincerity, inshallah. Then when they come back onto the ground, they forget Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yet they were close to the friendship with Allah. They were almost walis in the plane. May Allah protect us. Allahu Akbar. Really, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us sincerity. Allah says that what are you waiting for to turn to Allah? What is going to make you repent? What is going to make you straighten your ways and habits? Are you waiting for the day the angels come? Are you waiting for the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes? Allah says it will be too late. Anyone who has not believed by that time, it's not going to help them. And anyone who believed but did not do good deeds, the good deeds will not help them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in Surah, in, in surah Al-An'am, هَلْ يَنظُرُونَ إِلَّا أَن تَأْتِيَهُمُ الْمَلَائِكَةُ أَوْ يَأْتِيَ رَبُّكَ أَوْ يَأْتِيَ بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّكَ are they waiting for the day the angels come, the day that Allah comes, the day that the signs of Allah come, the major signs of Qiyamah come? Allah says, يَوْمَ يَأْتِي بَعْضُ آيَاتِ رَبِّكَ لَا يَنْفَعُ نَفْسًا إِيمَانُهَا لَمْ تَكُنْ آمَنَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِ أَوْ كَسَبَتْ فِي إِيمَانِهَا خَيْرًا قُلْ انْتَظِرُوا Allah Akbar. Allah says, on that day when the signs have come, when Allah comes, when the angels come, those who had not believed yet, it won't help them on that day to say, now we believe. It's too late. And those who did not do good deeds, Allah says, it will not help them on that day to say, let me quickly do good deeds or let me repent. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. And Allah says, regarding the signs, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes mention of the fact that there are signs that will lead up to the hour in Surah Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَقَدْ جَاءَ أَشْرَاطُهَا فَأَنَّا لَهُمْ إِذَا جَاءَتْهُمْ ذِكْرَاهُمْ Indeed, the signs have already started coming. The signs of Qiyamah began to come. They have come, Allah is saying. And I told you one of them, is the very sending of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The prophethood of the last prophet is already a sign of Qiyamah. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really to make us truly from amongst the followers of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala describes what is going to happen on that day. And I've decided to tamper with the order a little bit because there is something very serious about to come. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says on that day, we will solve all the problems. Anyone who had any dispute, the truth is going to come out. Anyone who cheated, they will be made bare. Anyone who lied, who deceived, they will be made known. Everything is going to become manifest. Anyone who had a problem, who did not resolve it in this world, we will resolve it, Allah says. And Allah says, on that day, no wealth will help you. Nothing will help you. No connections will help you. Will help you. No status will help you. Nothing besides justice. And the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Yunus, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is definitely going to judge in the disputes that had taken place between them on the day of Qiyamah. Allah will be the judge and He will resolve all the matters very, very quickly.